Well, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning, wherever you may be. Welcome back to part 7 of Sundays in Arizona. So I'll give you a little more update. been playing with uh, the turrets, getting them all together. And you're going to have to do one of two things on these big old turrets. And let me see if I can get this in here right here where this piece hangs over it doesn't quite cover the there's a hole there with an indent so you're gonna have to do either put a small piece of styrene on there or do something else I took um, some of this testers uh, clear glass and put it on a toothpick and fill those in but you're definitely gonna have to fill those in so, and then on the little directors here, there's actually has an optic in there. A lot of little seam lines you're going to have to take off of these things. So, have fun with that, but you're going to have to do it. But uh, I got all four of them all built up. I haven't glued the bottoms on yet. Um, I want to make sure everything's good before I decide to do that. And... I got all the blast bags done and from the pictures I can what I can tell is Arizona had tan blast bags so I did these in tan and then went over them dry brushed them so we can get out of that light um, did a little dry brush of white on them just make them look like they faded got all 12 of those done uh, running back to the stack this piece comes in two pieces um, and it just slides in there but the bad thing is right here where I've reinforced this there's a seam line that goes right here and it's going to show big time so I just added a piece of styrene on the bottom like a you know some welded plate did the same thing on the top kind of rounded the edges off a little bit that'll get reprimed and painted but it slides it's the uh, that's where the searchlights used to be. Should be an ammo box, ammo box, and then 250 cals in here. So, but something I would consider that we can get rid of that nasty old seam line. Um, is it accurate? No. Does it work? Yes. So, got that. And then I started doing some of the little sub assemblies, and you're definitely going to have to fill these seam lines here where they come together four corners. Um, if you want to use them as like um, lines between the panels it's just that they're too thick. It's way too thick for the steel that was used so I opted to fill them. I'm just using the, the molded on uh, hatches and ring or uh, leaving the rings on the portholes there. The doors are really detailed so I got one little assembly done and then this big one here um, if you are going to do photo etch on here you're going to have to fill these two holes right here got one cleaned up one the other one needs to be sanded so you're going to have to do that this piece here is, turns into this whole piece you're going to have a seam line right next to the little riser there and the one on this side that you're going to have to play with and then there's two injection molding marks on the inside here that you're going to have to get rid of. But uh, you can get rid of them. So I got that piece pretty much together, a little cleanup. Um, definitely want to sand the seam line out of these little, little archways here. They show up really good. So I'd clean those. Good recommendation. Top rail here, you have a mold line on there. Clean those up. But I got that done and got another piece done here. This one was nice because they did 45s in the corners. So they went together real nice. And then, of course, in the back, you're going to have to fill this seam line in again here and here. But that one's done. And let's see, we got another one done. This one wasn't too bad. 45, or at least the corners came out nice. And then this one here, I haven't done anything yet, but there is a big old seam line right there. So, 
fill them and sand them, make them nice. Uh, I got another one done. This one was a little tricky. You're going to have line here and line here to go on that, and then lines in the back. These ones I sanded, they came out pretty smooth. They might blend in, but uh, you definitely have to take care of those little lines. So we got that, and we did the conning tower. Um, there's a big line that goes through there. I know it isn't that thick, but I went through and in between the windows, and when I did the, the green putty on here, I just took a toothpick and cleaned them out. That's all you gotta do. And then sand them again. So, that's that. So, we're gonna keep chugging along. I'll try to get uh, that showing you cleaned up. What this looks like afterwards. And see how these turn out. Alright, we're gonna keep moving. Okay, now one thing I forgot to mention is um, right here where this little crook is, this is where the side goes into this top piece. You're going to have to put some putty on both sides. There's a pretty good seam line right there. There and there. So don't forget those and just sand them smooth. I got the other one cleaned up. I did a pencil mark around them so I knew where they were, which ones to fill so I didn't fill the wrong one. But yeah, those are, if you're not doing the plastic ladders, um, definitely going to need to fill those. So, all right, we're moving on. Okay, well, we got the conning tower all cleaned up. A little line all the way around that bad boy filled in. Baby butt smooth. I didn't lose any of the detail on the slats of the conning tower. They're all there. So, there we go. Smooth as a baby's butt. All right, we're gonna keep cracking on. Okay, well, I got that uh, little line right there where the piece came together it is gone on both sides. So look at the baby's butt. So don't forget you got some injection marks on the back side, little circles there, and you got the seams in the front and right there. You gotta get those out of there, right there, in there, and on the front side. So, might have to do a little filling and scraping and all that to get rid of them, but they're there. Okay, march it on. Okay, we're back and we have some 5 inch guns. So, these are the 5 inch casemate guns right here that are all done. I will take pictures of them to show you the close up. Um, they still move after being painted, but uh, let's see if we can get in the light. There's some, all the movable parts that were on the gun, I painted um, steel, and then there's a brass reel on there. The recoil's been done, and the breech block on the back. I'll get some pictures of them put at the end for you. Those are the casemates, and then the 5 inch um, anti aircraft guns. The gear is done. The same with the 5 inch casemates. I've highlighted the the photo etch on there, I'll try to get some pictures of that. But those ones still move. The gear underneath is done. The funny thing is, on this model, <laughs> let me get some light on this subject. This is bars in the way. There we go. But if you look right here, those are shells supposed to be in there in the ready use thing. And then there's dials on the side that I highlighted that set the timer for him to pop up in the air so I thought it was funny that they actually had those molded on there but they're on there anchors are all painted the thing still sways and wiggles so that's all done and one more thing I started in on the 14 inch guns doing the the photo etch the little rails right here they're quite fun even though it's 200 scale still doing like 1350 but we started on that it's progress so I think that is about everything for this week progress 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 I will take pictures of these get you some zoomed in copies uh, so you can see exactly what I painted and the detail on there so that is it for this week y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one